Hi guys, it's Daughter of David, aka Lolita. Um, this is an intercessory prayer. People dealing with um depression who may be struggling with some anxiety, some worries, just you know, feeling sorrowful, um, feeling like things aren't growing quite right, or whatever the case, it could be grief, it could be um loss of a loved one, um, it could be a myriad of things. You may be battling some things in your health and you may be feeling kind of down and discouraged. But um, I just really wanted to just take a moment, you know, take take my mind off myself. Right. Because sometimes that's what we got to do is forget about ourselves for a while and just really intercede for others in prayer and ask God to bless somebody else. And um, yes, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. And um, I just pray that God sends his Holy Spirit into this prayer. And I invite the Holy Spirit in here in Jesus Christ. You are welcome, Lord. Have your way. Um, let your words be my words. And I pray to pray and to speak as you will have me to pray and speak. In Jesus' name, I pray that somebody will get help. Someone will get healing. Someone will be uplifted um, encouraged and that they will know that they can make it yet another day. And, um, father God, I just thank you God for blessing us and, and waking us up on today, God, because Lord, if somebody can hear my voice, that's a sign God, that you still have a plan for them, God, because they're still here. Hallelujah. Even in the midst of pestilence and civil unrest and various things going on in the world, God, um, we're still here. We're still alive. Hallelujah. We still have another chance um to get it right another chance to grow another chance to get wiser another chance to be more discerning another chance to reach out to someone else um to uplift someone else to encourage someone else to pray for someone else abba father in jesus christ's name i pray oh god that you will touch each and every person under the sound of my voice that you will give them the oil of joy that you will give them a spirit of gladness, Abba Father, in Jesus Christ's name, that they will trade in their burdens for your yoke because your yoke is easy. That's what the word tells us, God, that, Lord, that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works and that our souls know full well, God. We thank you, Father God, that you knew us before you formed the foundation of the earth, God. We thank you, Father God, that we are not strangers unto you. We thank you, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name that, oh God, that you knew every single battle that we would have, God. You knew every struggle we would have. Oh God, when you made us, you knew the things that would be hard for us. You knew the things that would be easy for us. You even knew the people who we would encounter. You knew the situations that we would encounter, God. You knew our struggles, God. You know what we got bullied about growing up. Oh, God, you know what relationships have harmed us. God, you know what emotional things we have gone through. You've known our abuses. You've known our strengths. You've known our vices. Oh, God, we thank you, God, that you know us so intimately, God, that your word says that you know even the thoughts that we could think you know the words that we would speak we thank you God that there's nothing we can do that there's nothing that we can say that is strange to you because you know us all together you know us well because you formed us in our mother's wombs like Psalms 139 says God you fashioned us in our mother's wombs God and we thank you God that you know us so intimately God we thank you God and we just come God surrender Surrendering, Lord, we surrender our problems to you. We surrender our issues to you, God. We surrender our worry to you. We surrender our anxiety to you, oh God. Lord, search our hearts, God. Purge us with hyssop, oh God. Make us white as snow. Purify us, oh God. Cleanse us, oh God, from all unrighteousness, God. We come in repentance first and foremost, God, asking to put down every Every single work of the flesh, dissensions, God, contentions, jealousies, envies, strife, covetousness, 
fornication, idolatry, God, any just seeking anything before we seek you, um, putting anything above you, God, Lord God, doubting you, God, doubting what you have placed in us and who you have made us to be. Um, God, we just ask for your forgiveness, God, of anything that we've done, God, um, any dabbling God with, with, uh, foul things that are not of you, um, various things, any witchcraft, any astrology, God, any um spiritualism that's outside of your word, God, and outside of your Holy Spirit, God. Oh, God, forgive us, God. We repent of it, God. Anything, God, backbiting, gossiping, um, talking about other people, just sitting around and negatively speaking against someone, not realizing that they too are your child. So we're speaking against your child if we're doing that. Um, God, we just thank you, Lord Jesus, for, um, for everything that you've done for us. And we just humbly ask God for your forgiveness, God, if there's things that we've done that we're not even aware of, uh, Father God, we just ask that you will forgive us and we ask to be better, Father God. And Lord, I just send this prayer out over every single person um, dealing with the spirit of, of rejection, uh, dealing with uh, the spirit of depression, Oh, God. Oh, God, may you give us the oil of gladness. God, may you give us the spirit of praise. God, I pray that you touch every single person under the sound of my voice. God, to be relentless. God, to be diligent. God, to be persevering. God, to be immovable. God, that you will plant their feet. God, so firmly. God, that they will not be shaken, that they will not be moved, that they will not be given over unto other destruction but they do have the victory in the mighty name of Jesus may you give them the oil of gladness father God in the mighty name of Jesus father God I humbly ask God that you will call to remembrance for each and every person under the sound of my voice God God call to their remembrance the times when they before thought that they would not make it up until now and you have yet bought them through the time where they thought something absolutely would not work work out and you worked it out for their good anyway the time when they thought that it was all over but yet and still they have continued on God recall to their memory every single time that you have done it for them every time you have healed their bodies every time you have healed their hearts every time you have healed their minds God every time you have restored every time you have renewed every time you have saved God. Lord God, uplift them in this, God. Make them recall this, that they may know that because you have done it before, surely you will do it again. That you will continue to love them through sadness. That you will continue to love them through pain, through hurt, that you do not put us down when we start having a hard time, that you do not cast us aside when we begin to struggle, that you do not throw us away when our faith begins to get a little weak. Oh God, we thank you, Father God, that you're the everlasting God. We thank you, Father God, that you're the unchanging God. We thank you, God, that even though the world changed, God, that our minds ebb and flow, God. God, with emotion that we go from ups to downs, God. Sometimes we waver, God. Sometimes we waver in our faith. Sometimes we waver in our behavior. God, sometimes we waver in our seeking you, God. Sometimes we're on fire and sometimes we're ice cold, God. Sometimes we can barely get it moving, God. But we thank you, Father God, for who you are in Jesus Christ's name. We thank you that though we may waver, though we may flicker, that you do not change that you are the same God the same God of Moses that parted the sea the same God that tore down the walls of Jericho the same God that could turn a staff into a snake the same God that healed the blind the same God that made the lame man walk the same God that heals barrenness the same God that stops the issue of blood the same God who cast out legions of demons that you're the the same God now that you were then. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, that nothing is too big for you, that nothing is too mighty for you. There is nothing that you can't conquer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's nothing that you can't conquer. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Kalere mehe kete lere se kete mehere. Kele he kese te mehere abba. Sheke la maba. Sheke la abba. Sheke lere he kete mehere le abba. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Have your way. I command the spirit of depression to come up off of your children right now in the name of Jesus, the oil of gladness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, a spirit of praise taking over them right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we give you the praise, God. We're not going to sit in it, God. We're not going to live in it, God. We don't belong here the way a pig belongs in the mud, God. They enjoy it. They roll around in it, but we're not pigs, God. Hallelujah, we're your children, God. We're joint heirs through Christ Jesus, and we are royalty. We must be royalty. We must think as royalty. We must serve as royalty we must be leave as royalty oh god as joint heirs in christ god we don't belong in the ditch we don't belong in the mud we don't belong in the jails of our mind in oppression hallelujah we have to take our part god hallelujah of the joy and the glory that is in you because we believe in you because we know that you are more powerful than our problems in the mighty name of Jesus, right now, I pray, Abba, Father, every single person under the sound of my voice, God, that you will enlarge their victory, that you will enlarge their thoughts, hallelujah, on the victory, that the problems will become smaller and smaller and smaller until they ultimately dissipate and that all they will be able to keep their eyes on is the prize. In the mighty name of Jesus, that they will keep their eyes on the prize that they will keep their eyes on the victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That we will not waste time focusing on what the enemy is trying to do when he has already lost. When we are pray playing for the winning team. Hallelujah. 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 God is like the disciples in the boat when the storm got crazy. They forgot that they were in the boat with Jesus. They were in the boat with Jesus. Jesus. He told the storm to come. Hallelujah. As your children were in the boat with you, God, we're in the boat. We don't have to worry. We don't have to fret. We don't have to fear. We don't have to have anxiety. We don't have to be down. We don't have to think we're not worth it. We don't have to think we're not able because you've already justified us. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Abba Father. Lord God, let this prayer touch them that are feeling down. Touch them that are feeling distressed. Touch them that are feeling like giving up. Touch them that are feeling like this is the end. Touch them that are thinking this is the end of all things. Ha! Well, God, I say it is the end of all things. It's the end of the devil's reign. It's the end of the enemy's oppression. It's the end of being bound by the flesh. It's the end of negative thought patterns. It's the end of generational cycles. It's the end of generational curses. It is the end. It's the end of all things bad. It's victory season. It's deliverance season. It is your children's season. It is rejoicing season. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are stepping into fullness of joy. It is victory season. It is the winning season. We are on the winning team. Hallelujah. Touch every mind that they be not convinced of loss, but that they know that they have the victory. I declare and decree in the name of Jesus that everyone understands 
sound of my voice, Father God, that the enemy cannot talk them out of what is already theirs, that the enemy cannot smooth talk them out of their jewels, that the enemy cannot smooth talk them right up out of their blessings. I rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind the hands of the enemy in everyone's life under the sound of my voice, and I cast him out bound to roam through desolate and dry places in the mighty name of Jesus. The oil of joy, the oil of joy, the oil of joy, the garment of praise, the garment of praise over every single person under the sound of my voice, God, that they will leave the cloak of sadness and depression and put on the garment of praise, thanking you for life, thanking you for air, thanking you for breath, thanking you for a roof over their head, thanking you for clothes on their back, thanking you for a good friend, thanking you for good family. Oh, Abba Father, just thanking you for another day and another opportunity. Abba Father, in Jesus Christ's name, I lift up every single person, every single person, God, you know them intimately, you know them by name, you know them, you know them, God, I lift them up to you in prayer that depression be broken off of them in the mighty name of Jesus. And I lift myself up to God in the mighty name of Jesus that they will know that you are there and that you shall never leave them nor forsake them, that they are not walking alone, but that you are with them, carrying them, upholding them with your right hand, that they will not falter, that you will bring them to fulfillment, that they must go through the journey, but they already have the victory. Abba Father, in Jesus Christ's name, I pray and I thank you. Amen.